Boxing Gyms, G-E-M-S, Boxing Gyms. Check it out, study some of those videos there. The guy's phenomenal. His name is Ryan. I'm telling you, all right? You'll pick up a lot of knowledge. Fight fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. For the first film study of 2023, we have Arthur Baturbiev versus Anthony Yard for Baturbiev's three light heavyweight titles on January 28th. Should be fireworks. Let's get straight into the good stuff. When Anthony Yard fights moving laterally or backwards, he has a few issues with his footwork. The first is the traditional rhythm step, which is habitual movement that involves hopping out of stance and gathering your feet, then resetting front foot forward. The reset often leaves you front foot heavy in range. Mechanically, it's compromising. For example, Yard slips over his center line, then rhythm steps. One of the issues with the habitual rhythm step is that unless you have already decided to move the front foot another direction before the maneuver, you always come back linear or front foot forward. In this case, Kovalev's circle is right. Since Yard has just reset on his front foot after the rhythm step, he has to lift his back foot to adjust to the angle leaving him in range and front foot heavy or stuck in range with his weight distributed on the front foot. The second is the L step followed by cross steps. With the L step, Yard is compelled to move right. Trying to reset with the cross step leaves Yard vulnerable until he resets by moving the back foot in position. A high risk, low reward maneuver that has mechanical issues. For example, even with the wide C step, aka curved L step, once Yard cross steps, his feet are narrow and out of boxing stance, so yet again, he resets with the front foot forward half step. Stepping back foot first to go forward is breaking from fundamentals. High level fighters do it all the time to set traps or quickly close distance with the back leg already loaded. However, the habitual use of back foot first once again leaves you resetting with your front foot forward towards your opponent. When you gather your feet with the back foot half step, you're out of stance. When you're completing the step with the front foot, you're off balance in range with forward momentum. Once the front foot lands, your weight is distributed and your front foot heavy in range. Speed it up and it just becomes a forward shuffle. It's the same issue if you land mid range with the added task of gaining proper balance on the land than defending. Unfortunately for Yard, in Baturbia's very last fight, he timed and hurt Joe Smith Jr., who had the tendency to go back foot first to gather his feet, then attack out the position. Yard also tends to back out in straight lines from time to time. Multiple linear reverse shuffles don't allow you to get your head off the track or center line. Aggressive opponents will follow you out with punches. Depending on his initial ring positioning, after double reverse shuffles straight backwards, Yard often ends up on or near the ropes, limiting his options of movement. Stab it faster. There'll be more urgency in that, in that move forward. And that just made Yard blink a little, took it well enough. Oh, good effort here from Reeves, good left hand in that little, little flurry. And Yard is in a bit. The Turbiev often likes to use forward shifts to follow opponents out. The forward shift is a stance switch forward often used to close distance with offense and confuse your opponent's defensive assignments.
when opponents end up against the ropes, Viterbiev deploys a great probe game. He uses probes or off-speed lighter punches to occupy or disrupt the opponent's guard elsewhere than the intended target. The tendency that Yard has that I think likely plays the biggest factor in this fight is his issue keeping his head stationary while throwing lead hand hooks. On the back foot, Yard counters with the lead hand hook where you would typically see a check step or pivot making it a check hook. A check hook is both an offensive and defensive maneuver that would typically move a fighter's head to a new position behind the hook. Yard throws the hook and keeps his head on the line exposing himself to the initial attack that he was countering as well as follow up punches. When Yard leads with the hook, he almost always leaps or shuffles into it, which guarantees his head on the center line. Viterbiev has a similar footwork tendency to Yard's leap and lead hook in that he shuffles in with the single jab to close distance. The maneuver guarantees his head on the line. If time right, you can catch him with both feet off the ground with forward momentum. He also has the tendency to forego a balanced stance if he's being overly aggressive. So Yard's stationary head issue may also be a saving grace that's why I called it the biggest factor. Keeping his head stationary puts him at major risk, but it also keeps him set to put power behind his counters, then throw follow-up power punches. If Yard can time Baturbiev off the back foot, he has the power to hurt him. He can set traps constantly with distance, then punish Baturbiev's flawed penetration steps. 
И Леос Богов в одиночку не сделает. В ринге Крашер. Ярд для себя искал давление и быстро Using lateral and backwards movement, Yard can also control pace and punch output. If he elects to stand in 50-50s, he may be forced into a pace that he has shown to gas or lose stamina. Once he's gassed, he becomes more flat-footed, where he typically utilizes a Philly shell defense, which would allow Baturbiev to close distance uninhibited and let his hands go. It would be constant 50-50 exchanges with the fighter who has hurt opponents with arm punches. This film study was yard dominant. If you're looking for further analysis on Baturbia, I'll link a previous video at the bottom. I see one clear distinct way that yard can win this fight. Distance and back foot countering where Baturbia's footwork issues can be exploited. In my opinion, aside from that strategy, it's going to be a tough hill to climb for yard. My official pick is Baturbia by KO, but I consider the possibility of yard pulling it off in my bet. I likely go Baturbia by KO heads with yard straight up. But I want to know who you got in the comments section. Does Yard have a shot at the throne of Baturbia? Sports put link in the description if you want some smoke. Like, subscribe, share to help spread the knowledge. Support the channel by becoming a member or patron where you get exclusive live film studies. Links in the description. Peace.